Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, this could be a quick tutorial um, on how to make um, uh, grass, um, fruity grass that can um, that can sway um, and continuously loop, or you could you know animate them yourself, but uh, continuously loop because unless the wind suddenly stop. So um, yep. Yeah. So the first thing is to is to uh, find a uh, picture of a piece of tall grass from Minecraft, which you can find on on you know Google Images. I'll leave one uh, a link to a picture in the description if it's needed. So uh, so let's 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 start then. So um. Start off with uh, creating a a box uh, in the create tab on, under geometry, um, and change the the uh, length, width, and height to uh, something like ten, ten, and ten, something like that. It could be any size as long as it's you know the same to make you know a cube. And we can just rescale it after it's complete. So, uh, so after you've done that, um, um, uh, convert to Edible Poly, and we're now going to use the a uh, lot of extruding. That's so. Um, first things first is to make sure you get a good uh, picture and. Count as many blocks as you can see on the grass. Um, one, two, three. The one I've got has got uh, 15 on the bottom. So um, go to the uh, in the selection box. Uh, click the red square polygon and select the side one of the sides and uh, with the extrude tool down here uh, settings and um, do the uh, whatever um, dimensions you chose I chose 10 10 10 so it's gonna be 10 so uh, you're gonna wanna go I believe 14 times across so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 12 13 14 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right. So that's pretty much all it is in modeling it. So I'll just go through it. So um just hold down the CTRL uh key to uh, select more than one face. Um and then just continue extruding until you get Done, but um, let's see. So, yep, so just follow the picture you've got. It should be the same unless it's a different texture pack, I think. So And all that, and continue to extrude. Use the plus key if you don't need to change any of the faces. And when you you need to extrude outwards, just you know, and extrude on the side one. And just continue now. When you need to seal off one of these um, these holes, what we're gonna do is um, so this one here. So what we're gonna do is get the after you need the, you've extruded the one above it, um, the the side of it. Just uh, extrude that, and as you can see, it's closed. But just to make it better, um, just uh, okay that, and then. Before you unselect the uh, 
the uh, face you've just made, delete it so that there's no face there. And then double click as many times as you can until you can get in and get that little face on the other one. Now, you can either do this now or you can do this after you've done the entire thing, but uh, I, I, I just prefer to do it now in case I forget. So you can select everything or just the, the region where you just delete the two, the two faces and select them all. And under edit vertices, you've got the well tool. And just click that. So that will make sure that these vertices are connected. And you don't have any extra faces that aren't needed there. So, um, and then pretty much that's it. Just continue on. So, yeah. Might speed this bit up now. I'm not sure. Let's see. Now, when you get to the parts where it's branching off, it, it, sometimes it's much quicker to do, just do small parts that just to get, it just makes it easier. Also helps you get all the others uh, done much easier as well. So I'm doing these now separately as it helps get an eye for the others Now you could add the floating parts, but I decided not to, but you could if you want. Um, you'd have to attach an extra cube to it, which would be 10 by 10 by 10 if you did the same damage as well, and position it that way, if you wanted to. I believe that is done. So after you've done that, um, what you're going to want to do now is go to the hair, uh, high archy, um tab, um, and with your grass selected, uh, uh, press effect pivot only and press center to object and then these um, untoggle effect pivot only and then you're going to want to select and rotate uh, which is beside the move tool and holding down shift and, and also having angle snap toggle on as well um, hold shift and rotate it by 90 and that should create a second grass and after that 
Um, just press copy, uh, press OK. And then with what either one, um, go back onto the modify tab and go to attach, which should be under edit geometry, and select the other grass. And now you've got your your grass. So now onto the bit how you make it sway. So um, what you're going to want to do is in the modifier list um, add a modifier called bend. So a very good one. So what you want to do is you're going to want to just bend it, even though you can see it's not right. Just, just bend a bit, and then you're going to want to put on limit effect. And then just you know turn it up a bit. So I'm just turn it like that. And then you're just gonna wanna mess with that. So you get it about right. That looks about right. So um, what you're going to do after that is you're going to want to. I, I went for frame 30, and then I put on auto key, and with angle at zero at the moment, change that to with auto key on. Oh yeah, auto key, uh, and change that to you think that's about the right swaying amount. So uh, I think that's all right. And then uh, after you've done that, just see if it looks all right. Now, after you've done that, um, you're going to want to go to Graph Editor, uh, Track View Curve Editor. And then you should see, with have your graph selected, and at the bottom it should be Modified Object. Um, and press the little plus button. And then choose bend, the plus button for bend, and then go down to angle. Make sure you click angle. And then, and I, I mean, make sure you click angle before you do this because it, 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 it will be grayed out if you don't. So you may see the same result if you're just pressing uh, on bend. Well, you would. Don't know why mine isn't now. Anyway, um, but. Uh, just make sure you click angle and then uh, you're going to want to select the two keyframes we created and then what you're going to want to do is under controller you want to go to out of range types and change it to ping pong so now that will automatically continue on forever back and forward. So you won't have to worry about animating keying every single frame, every single 30 frames for the rest of your scene. It can now be done completely forever. So that bit's done. Just checking something. Now that's one way to do it, but if you want to get a more natural look for it, um, back into cover editor and just change this back to uh, so that. And you see it's a straight line at the moment, but if we were to go back in, undo that, so select the two back. Go to out of range and just change it back to constraint again. It's back to normal. But um, if you want to get a slightly more natural look, you want to go to frame 60 and put it back to zero. And then 
you should get a more gradual bend back and then like I showed you already uh, just select all of them again and if it will let me and then just go to out of range types and change the ping pong and now that will it'll look a bit more natural it'll ease down instead of just suddenly going from one point to another instantly so now I can't seem to ease it out for the for ping pong bit but yeah bit of nothing now there's an extra thing you can do as you can see mine is a bit more seems a bit more natural it feels like the wind's not just directly going in one direction so what you want to do for that bit is you want to go to the modify list in the modify panel or tab one um, and go down to noise and add that and then change the uh, strength to something like uh, 10 or 5 depends how uh, rough you want it to be and click uh, and tick animate noise and then go through it So yeah, just you know, tweak it until you think you've got about the right amount of the um, sway. And you, yes, the 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 uh, the flat at the bottom is doing the uh, is moving a bit as well. But you can just move this up a tiny bit. It, oh, I think it will help a tiny bit. But just you know, keep some of it underneath the ground, underneath your plane or ground, whatever you're going to be using. So it will still look very natural. So. There you go, and you know, if you, you know, just uh, I just used a normal material with green color, but you could, if you really want to, you could always go through the um, through different uh, shades of green if you really want to, but uh, I I decided not to. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, if you've got any suggestions for any other tutorials you want, um, I might make one for the uh, how to make armor and all that, for, you know, diamond, helmet, and that, but um, it's quite simple if you know how to extrude things. But um, if you've got any requests for any tutorials, uh, if, if, and if you've got any questions, I'll try and answer them as, as I'll try and answer as many as I can. Um, so, uh, Thank you for watching, and um, um, if you like the video, like it, share it, all that stuff. If you hated it, dislike it. Um, so, uh, bye.